Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am excited to be hosting on today's talk two executives from a very good Veeam partner. We have with us today Justin Augett, who's the VP of Marketing at Veeam Partner Island. We also have Will Urban, Senior Technologist of Island. And we're going to be doing a great demo of Veeam technology as put in place with Veeam RESTful APIs in iLand service consoles and various workflows that they've built for their customer base. So to start things off today, uh, let's start with Justin Augett. And Justin, could you give us a quick intro to iLand? You bet, Jeff. Uh, and thanks for having us. Uh, what a you know, great event to have following uh, you know, our successful Veeam on uh, showing with you guys. So iLand, uh, for those that aren't aware of us, we're a global VMware-based cloud provider. Uh, um, we've been specializing in disaster recovery, cloud hosting for over a decade. Um, as you can see on the slide, we've been in business for much longer than that. Um, now, much like you guys at Veeam, we've uh, we've been focusing on helping VMware customers move to the cloud pretty much since the beginning, really, you know, since VMware turned their focus to the cloud. Today, we operate 11 data centers all around the world. We include planning, migration, customer support with all of our services. So, you know, our focus really is to give the customer, you know, that full journey experience um, and provide a very custom individual approach for all the services that we offer. Fantastic. So. What services have you built to date using Veeam Automation? You got it. So, well, as you know, um, our partnership with Veeam goes, you know, goes back just almost as long as we've been in business. You know, and during that time, um, especially in the last two years, uh, I joined the I joined Island about two years ago. We we've really uh, stepped on the accelerator and jointly developed um, and released some really incredible innovations for our customers. You know, to protect their business in in, in all forms. Um, so today we support the full Veeam backup and replication portfolio, whether it's backup, it's DR, uh, 365, object storage, um, et cetera. And you know, if we're being if we're being honest here, you know, a lot of that innovation was possible because of the way that you guys have enabled us, right? We've used your APIs to not only provide that breadth that we that I just mentioned, but you know, also the depth that we have uh, programmatically, we built into our platform uh, to help manage everything from backup to DR, three sixty five, etc. We even, you know, we have a number. Another part of our business is is application hosting. You know, for legacy VMware applications, it's backed up by Veeam. You know, and so again, all this has been made possible for the ease of use that you guys have provided uh, with your APIs and enable us to really bring together uh, a full portfolio that's managed from a single pane of glass. That's fantastic. And of course, I know iLand's innovation doesn't stop with what you do for Veeam. You guys have been have been winning things like the Veeam Innovation Award that you won this year at our at our Veeam on conference uh, back in June. But you've won a few other industry awards along the way. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and um, Will's going to talk a little bit about Test Drive, which we uh, won an innovation award for this year. We're really excited for it. You know, you'll see it's all about really even more simplifying and automating that customer experience um, but you know as you see on the screen you know we're um, we, we've uh, we're really proud of where we've where we've been um, and uh, you know we're not as big as some of our competitors obviously you know so that's why we take the you know the approach to focus on automation control um, visibility deep into the stack and of course our services you know that I mentioned uh, to differentiate us so you know as you can see we think it's working pretty well and many of our partners and uh, industry influence Influencers think it's working pretty well, you know. So we're uh, we're going to keep hustling. We uh, we're really proud of what we've been able to do with you guys. Okay, yeah. So uh, you know, ultimately, what we what we're um, what we're focused on again, you know, is is what we've we put together. Um, you know, leading up to the VMON show, um, you know, the last few months, and we've uh, we we were able to pull together uh, the three sixty five. Um, 365 product into our console. Um, you know, last year we were we were introducing backup and DR into our console. So now the customers are able to go on there. You know, if their backup customers are able to easily and seamlessly add DR, they're able to seamlessly add 365, manage it all from the same place. You know, and then on our side, you know, from the from the infrastructure cloud hosting perspective, you know, again we focus in on search security, performance, availability. So really providing 
you know, high performance enterprise class experience. Um, you know, again, is, is close to our is, is close to our customers have maybe uh, experienced on premises as any other cloud that's out there. That's fantastic. So when you when you're looking at bringing a customer on board, the the whole process when they when they want to test this out, when they want to to come on board with Island, what does that actually look like from a customer perspective? Yeah, I mean, Will's going to show you a little bit about that, but it's interesting for us. Um, you know, many of our many of the, the bigger players, you know, um, you know, take took a very self service approach to this first. You know, anyone can get on their computer and they can try out services. Um, you know, we now have a very robust self service and automated portal for that through test drive and for onboarding. But we also take the approach where you know many of our customers that may be um, smaller shops or simply don't have the time or the resources, you know, to right size their cloud for themselves. You know, in other words, this is all all about being expectations. And sometimes those expectations are we really want to move to the cloud. We don't want to make a mistake. We don't want to overpay for something. We don't want to over provision. We don't want to under provision. We want to make sure that the use case makes sense, you know, for our application and they need help. And it's as simple as that. And so that's why we have doubled down on our professional services. We have software that helps customers really design a cloud service that fits their unique business and application needs. We call it Island Catalyst. That's a free download. So again, it's like this combination of I can do it myself or I can have Island work with me to do it. Depends on it depends on time resources and, and every customer is different. And I know that we're talking today about the Veeam Innovation Award that you did back at Veeamon, but there was another talk that we de did at Veeamon, Justin, you and I talked before the conference about that as well. You've been able to take your the tools you've built using Veeam automation capabilities to scale to a really big level. Can you give us a, a quick idea about the, the number of workloads that you're backing up of different types using Veeam? Oh, I mean, we're, you know, we're in the thousands now. So, you know, there's, there's some big numbers here, but you know, to your point, um, you know, scale works when you have flexibility to do, um, you know, the, the, take the approach that every customer needs and every customer is different. So automation, all the way up to literally, you know, the white glove experience, right? Mm -hmm. So because of the way that we work with you guys and the programmatic approach that we've taken, you know, we're able to, you know, really, let's use VR as an example, we're really able to provide that automation for the run book and for the failover, the fail back, you know, really create that ease of experience. Um, and in fact, you know, it, taking it to another level, you know, we're scaling our business, uh, you know, even, you know, into another sort of vertical segment by offering uh, a fully managed VR service that we call Autopilot. Mm -hmm. so, you know, when I say that the scale that we have with Veeam it continues to grow every day, it does, and it grows. You know, both in terms of uh, vertical reach and uh, industry reach, but then also, you know, business segment. You know, we're we're providing really up and down the stack. It's 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 a it's a great thing for our partnership with our with uh, the partnership with you guys. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, let's change gears. That's that's a great overview. But I'm sure that our viewers today would love to actually see the technology in action. Will, could you tell us a little bit more about this year's Veeam Innovation Award submission, what you presented, and then could you show us the service console and how that works out from a customer point of view? Yeah, definitely. So let me go ahead and make sure my screen is being shared okay. So, um, you know, every year we, you know, uh, Justin and his team puts together kind of the submission for, uh, you know, the innovation award. And, you know, one year it was all about leveraging APIs for, you know, some of the automation and, and you know, deployment. Uh, another year it was all about, you know, catalysts and right sizing environments and all of the integration that we've done. And then this year we actually applied with our uh, 30 day trial called Test Drive. And so what we found with uh, both uh, Veeam customers and, and our customers is, you know, it, it, it's really hard to, to kind of grasp some of these things, right? You, you understand you need backups, you know, you understand you need a, you know, a, a cloud-based uh, disaster recovery service, you understand what object storage is, but really until you get your hands on it and really play around with it, does, does the value start to show through? So we've actually come up with this idea called uh, the test drive, and it's really simple. You go to island.com slash free, which I'm showing on the screen, and here you can sign up for cloud-based backup, disaster recovery, object storage, um, and and soon we'll even have our uh, you know uh, Office 365 or Microsoft uh, 365 offering as well. And so what it's not really a, a sexy demo with this part because literally you you click on it, you give us your information, and then on the background we start doing all this automation. So 
depending on the data center that you choose, like Justin said, we have the global data centers, then it's going to start to spin up repos for your, your data. You're going to get an email with automation that says, uh, you know, here's your login credentials. And then we have an entire, um, you know, success center uh, at uh, success.island.com that kind of guides you through that whole experience. So it doesn't matter if you're setting up, um, you know, Office 365 backups, or if you're setting up disaster recovery with, you know, replication, or you're setting up, you know, VCCB for backups and stuff like that. So you can follow the directions. We've got videos, we've got all sorts of stuff that will kind of get you kind of on track. So within, a, you know, a, I don't even know the, the, the SLA, but within, you know, a short amount of time, you have all your credentials that you need. Uh, even if you don't have Veeam, this is one of the greatest things about it is even if you're just like, you know what, I really need to understand how to move from this archaic, you know, tape drive and putting tapes in dusty old warehouses into the cloud because, you know, regulatory needs or compliance needs or anything like that, I need to understand where I need to go. And so whether you're a Veeam customer or not, you can still trial the Veeam and Island uh, offsite backup and it'll take your backups locally and then it'll copy them to the cloud. So all of that stuff is automated in the background. So it's not exactly the, the, the most flashy thing, but once you're connected, once you've been um, you know, put into the system and all of that stuff, then you have access to the Island Secure Cloud Console. Now the Island Secure Cloud Console is a unified management system that manages all of your cloud services. So like Justin said, we do a lot of different stuff for a lot of different customers. Uh, sometimes it's just backup. Sometimes it's off, uh, you know, Office 365. Sometimes it's disaster recovery. Sometimes it's infrastructure as a service where they're hosting their production virtual machines inside of our environment. Every single thing that we do is touched by Veeam in some sort, and all of it is accessed and managed from the ILN Secure Cloud Console. So, for example, let's say you're a backup customer. You know, you've got virtual machines on site, they're being backed up, and you need to apply that 3-2-1 rule of availability where you have three copies of data, two uh, different medium types, and then one of them is off-site air-gapped, uh, encrypted in flight, encrypted in rest. And so from here, you can go into your, uh, your console, you can click on backups, and then you can see all of the different backups that you have. Like, whether you're a, a, an individual organization, whether you're an organization that has multiple umbrellas of organizations underneath you, whether you're a managed service provider and you're reselling backups, backups. Um, there's this concept of a tenant and this repo. And so you have all of these tools and functions at your fingertips to basically say, okay, what data center am I going to choose? Or, you know, what data center do I have data in? You know, here I've got a bunch of different data centers. How much space do I have in the repo? And then of that space, how am I going to allocate it to my tenants? And again, this could be managed service. This could be, you know, uh, team based. You could have marketing and you could have uh, DevOps and you can have whatever, or you can have different organizations all underneath an umbrella um, company. And you can manage everything from the single pane of glass. And so you can even go in, let's choose another location. Let's uh, let's choose, let's see what we have in, in Virginia. So again, as, as uh, Island is a global company, we have a full compliance and certification and legal team that can help you understand any of the compliance and legal regulatory issues that you may be facing wherever you are, whether it's GDPR, whether it's HIPAA, whether it's PCI, whether it's, you know, uh, socks or, or, you know, some of the stuff that's going in uh, off in uh, Australia or anything like that. Um, so not only do you have full compliance and security built into the system, but you have all of the management and visibility. So here I could come in here, I can see who's using what I can see who's consuming stuff. Um, I can always reallocate tenants, I can reallocate storage, I can do all of that stuff. And of course, one of the biggest challenges about moving to the cloud is visibility and management into your cost factor, right? So understanding who's consuming what cost, you can see all that from within the billing. And this is just backup. So from backups, you know, I can go into my, my secure cloud and now secure cloud is the same environment. So we leverage enterprise class VMware environments to run organizations, VMware workloads. And the whole thing is built on VMware, uh, vCloud. It's got NSX built into it. It's got all these security suites built into it. All of this stuff that you need to run your organization. And then what's really important about that is when you move to the cloud for, for an application workload, the last thing you want to have to worry about is your data protection and recovery uh, sequence. So if I click on any one of these virtual machines over here in the left, 
not only will you see all of the traditional things that you would expect from a virtual machine, such as, you know, power on, power off, you know, attach an ISO, change how much CPU, uh, you know, it's using or, you know, verify uh, CPU wait time or disk latency or anything like that. But in addition to that, down here at the bottom, we actually leverage Veeam for a built-in offsite air gapped backup of your virtual machines that are running in the cloud. And so now all of a sudden you have, you know, whether you're doing your infrastructure on site, whether you're doing your infrastructure in the cloud, you're, you're, you're leveraging Veeam for that additional uh, protection. Now, as part of the VCCB or, or Veeam cloud backup, you also have access to what's called insider protection. And that allows in case something malicious happens to the actual cloud-based backups, then support can actually restore those files. So it's kind of like a recycle bin. So it's another option for that. And then once you move away from like backups and infrastructure as a service that are running backups, the next big thing is, uh, you know, IT resilience and understanding how can I recover not only from, uh, you know, a malicious attack or ransomware or, you know, whatever, but also maybe a natural disaster or a power outage or something like that. And so, you know, we only have a little bit of time today, but we've done so many different presentations with Veeam. Um, around you know all of the different things that you can do but let me show you real quick the continuity tab and so when it comes to IT resilience right you have to have backups backups are required and they're mandatory but a backup can only serve you so much you know you've got RTOs and RPOs and you have the ability to recover but what if you have nothing to recover to or you're running into some issues where you know the systems aren't working or you need hardware or anything like that there's so many different reasons to have a combination of IT resilience plus backup and within the island secure cloud console we leverage the veeam replication technology and all of those APIs to create what we call as a recovery group and a runbook let me go ahead and choose another location that has a little bit more information but basically a recovery Recovery group uh, is, uh, think of recovery group as kind of like a grouping of assets, of IT assets, right? So disaster recovery is this huge thing where you have to, you know, you go to business stake owners and you talk to them about what do they need and what does their RPOs and RTOs look like and what is the cost of an, of an impact and you know, who's going to be notified and all, you know, there's so many things that you have to do on the business side before you look at technology that when you come to looking at technology, it can be almost overwhelming. And so the Veeam and Island solution is a single platform, a single product that encapsulates this whole comprehensive data protection, disaster recovery, IT resilient solution. So that now all of a sudden you have one product, one single pane of glass, one single thing that can, you know, alleviate all of your challenges around IT resilience. And so you have these things called, uh, you know, um, uh, recovery groups and a recovery group is a bunch of IT assets that have been grouped. Well, now all of a sudden you need to make sure that those IT assets can come over. So they're using the Veeam replication to come over. Now, once they're coming over, you need to make sure they can come up online and they can come up in the right order. And we always talk about how easy it is if you have 10 virtual machines to bring them up in the right order. But if you have 410 virtual machines, and we have a lot of customers with a lot of virtual machines, and the ability to spin them up in the right order consistently every single time can be a challenge, especially if there's things that are going wrong, right? So the last thing you want to have to do is deal with all that. So within the Island Secure Cloud Console, you can group your assets, you can create what's called a recovery group, you can create these disaster recovery runbooks, you can have multiple runbooks, so you can do partial site failover, you can do layer two VPN for connections. So let's say you just have your tier one application to move over. And then you have your, your on-site talk to your tier one apps um, or whatever. You can use it for migra migration. You can use it for, you know, uh, whatever. Um, and what's really cool about it is because we're leveraging the Veeam replication technology along with VMware encapsulation, there's no converting virtual machines. Virtual machines, just they they just come online. Um, they're, we're leveraging full NSX stack. So all of your firewalls, all of your rules, everything, your VPNs, everything like that comes over just like, like normal. And because it, we're leveraging the same VMware stack and the, the Veeam replication, you can actually do a non-disruptive test. So in the old days, right, we used to talk about, you know, having to power up, power off stuff and then come into the office and, you know, spend all weekend screwing around with DR and trying to get it to work and not having the staff or not having the understanding. And then finally nothing works and you just go home. Well, now, you know, your boss, your CIO, your CISO can come in and say, Hey, how's our DR plan working? Because, you know, we just saw so-and-so got hit by ransomware or, you know, there's a hurricane coming. Can we fail over preemptively? Um, sure. You push a button, you know, up here, you have this failover wizard. You could do a live failover. You could do a test failover. And then from that, you can actually see, you know, what are my RPOs? What are my RTOs? You know, non-disruptively impacting my production environment because it's all isolated and you can actually run tests and do all sorts of stuff on there and, and, and make sure everything's working. So and that you know, is, 
Yep. And well, based on the console that you've showed us as well, essentially the multi-tenancy that you've built into this allows if an organization starts doing business with iLand, starts letting you guys take care of this, they can turn around and easily be a transparently be a service provider to all their internal organizations, basically uh, with billing and with all this automation built into what they offer to their customers. Exactly. We have full role-based access and, and, and visibility for users and for tenants and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to, I know I'm running out of time. And I, I'm trying to talk really, really quick, but this is really cool stuff. But, <laughs> um, this is just a, this is just a quick preview and, and a sneak peek. So, you know, one, a lot of organizations are leveraging cloud-based applications like Microsoft Office 365 for collaboration, creation, communication. Um, and there's a, there's actually a massive, gap in understanding between what is protected in the cloud versus what the customer's responsibility for protecting. And we have a whole series called Mind the Gap, all about why you need to still leverage Veeam to protect your Office 365 environment. But now this is kind of like a sneak peek, but coming soon, you'll actually be able to manage all of your tenants, all of your Office 365 information, and be able to recover all from within the Island Secure Cloud Console in addition to seeing billing. And so with role-based access and tenant management, you can see how this benefits MSPs. You can see how it benefits busy IT organizations who are just trying to struggle to get through the day, um, all of these things. One last thing before I hand it back to you guys, um, if you go to our YouTube channel, we've got a ton of different stuff. You have defense and recovery in the age of ransomware. This is a really good, um, it is, it's a little bit long and it's me talking. So if you're done with me talking today, you may not want to watch it today, <laughs> but it's 45 minutes of really talking about how the Veeam and Island solution has helped customers through ransomware attacks, through uh, outages and everything, again, with that comprehensive data protection thing. So it all starts with island.com slash free. For a free trial, we leverage our Catalyst tool to do a uh, assessment of your environment and allow you to understand what it is you need to consume, how you're going to right size your cloud environment. We hop you in, you start playing around with it, and the success is in our customer numbers. Like people love the Veeam and Island solution for uh, taking you know seven or eight of their check marks check marks off their list and moving forward. So perfect. Whew. Perfect. All right. Thank you. That was rapidly done. Great job. It was really good seeing that dashboard. So I think we probably will have people going and looking at that long talk. But just to dial it in here, let's talk, if you don't mind, Justin, about uh, let's dig into another customer success. If you could talk us through the way that one city succeeded with Veeam and Island. Yeah, you bet. So um, this is a uh, story. I'll just wait to bring the slide up. This is a great story. Another story where we're really proud you know, to be able to help the organization protect their business from unplanned downtime, you know, and um, see that positive impact to their organization. So Geneseo is a city in Illinois that um, they were very happy Veeam and Island backup customer, right? But, you know, they had a major gas main break, you know, and that forced the evacuation of their city hall, you know, and so they started looking at disaster recovery in the cloud, you know, get it off site, you know, get it within a safe proximity to their primary data center, right? I believe it was, you know, literally across the street. So given their relationship with Veeam and with Island, um, and I think just as important, they had a critical need to ensure compatibility with their existing VMware environment. Really, that was a really important part of the equation for them. So they successfully deployed Island Secure DRAS with Veeam alongside their existing Veeam and Island backup. And um, as mentioned, now they're managing it all from a single view. So they're doing monitoring, reporting, control, um, you know, and ultimately, We've given them confidence. Our joint, you know, solution here has given them confidence that if there is another unplanned, uh, unplanned uh, event, you know, it, um, you know, God willing, there won't be, that their business is ready to recover, uh, to um, you know, to adapt to that situation, recover, you know, and again, uh, protect their business, which is what we're all in this, uh, we're all here for. That's perfect. Thank you so much. I was actually talking with the former state CIO for the state of Nevada uh, yesterday on a call. And a point that he made about services like this, the, the average ransom paid in 2019, according to one recent survey, was over $125,000. And if anyone has been taking a look at the news articles about that, that's really a small number compared to the dollar losses that some big cities that have been hit by ransomware have suffered when we're talking in the 10 to $18 million for recovery range, whether they pay the ransom or not. So. What I think I'm hearing from both you guys is that this kind of a fully managed solution could essentially be self-funding by averting things like ransomware or gas main breaks or things like that. Yeah, I would, I would, I would totally agree with that. And I'll add one thing, and this is probably a conversation for uh, you know another time because it's it's a deep conversation. 
you know, but what we're all realizing that, you know, especially with the, the current, um, you know, the current COVID situation, that cybercrime and ransomware is definitely ticked up and, you know, there is no silver bullet, right? So the, the best way to approach a protection of that is multi-layered defense, you know, so it's a combination of security, it's a combination of backup in VR, you know, all these things together layered on so that there's not like a, a single point of vulnerability. And we're able to do that really well with Veeam. And that's really been an important uh, message for us, you know, um, you know, the last, you know, the last year or so. It's one of those things where, you know, unfortunately it's it's a problem, but, you know, you know, and there's not a, again, there's not a silver bullet for it, but when you combine the, the, the layers of, of security and protection of Veeam and Island, you know, we're really able to help our customers uh, thwart some of the bigger attacks and avoid that ransom. Yeah, and just to jump in real quick on on top of that, we just did a, a presentation yesterday for um, uh, Canadian citizens um, with Veeam, and I, it was myself and and one of the the SEs from Veeam, and you know Europol is saying that cybercrime is a three trillion dollar business, and it's more lucrative than heroin, marijuana, and cocaine. So it, it's no longer it's no longer off the table. The bad guys understand that there's real money involved and they're starting to do things like ransomware as a service and they're starting to do different attack vectors and they're really starting to double down on the social hacking and, and understanding how people are making mistakes with emails and phishing. And so just like Justin talked about, we have this entire conversation around defense in depth plus recovery options with the Veeam and Island solution. And you really have to do it all to be able to, to, to protect yourself. One of the things that I've heard recently too is that increasingly, even if folks are hit by ransomware and they're lucky enough to have cybersecurity insurance, right? They, they have cyber insurance about this. They have to prove that they weren't just asleep at the wheel, but that they've actually taken industry standard precautions and that they have a good security posture in order for their claim not to get into litigation with their insurance company. It sounds like the kind of documentation that your solution provides can really help them do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it, the end to end. I mean, there's, you know, we, we try to keep uh, as many bases covered as we can, you know, and again, with the, the combination of what we're doing with you guys um, up to, you know, the the air gap repository that we've been able to deploy in the last year or so, um, you know, really does help. And it, it does build that case that they're, uh, that, you know, the attacks are sophisticated sometimes and there's, you know, there's literally, you know, there's, there's not many options, but for the bulk of them, they can be prevented for sure. Fantastic. Well, Justin, Will, this has been a great talk. I want to be mindful of our time. We're about to wrap up. I really, really appreciate your time today. And it was great for me personally to see the, uh, what the consoles look like because I know about, uh, I know about the, uh, the tech behind them, but it's nice to see how they look on the front end to your customers. Um, I would like to add a couple of quick notes for everyone that's watching today. Please do tune in on Monday, same place, same time. So noon on this LinkedIn live channel, we're going to have Dave Russell and Jason Buffington from Veeam. They'll be discussing the just released Gartner 2020 Magic Quadrant for data center backup. There was some exciting news in that for Veeam, and I hope that you'll join us to take a look at that. One other reminder, for those of you who are not able to attend our virtual Veeam on 2020 conference last month, all of that content is still available on demand. And I think we'll have a link for that coming up here in just a second. So please do join us on Monday. We're going to have a great talk about the Magic Quadrant. And if you want a ton more of information around this, including more information about ILAN's uh, uh, solutions that they've talked about today, please take a look at the Veeam on 2020 on-demand content. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it today. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all.